We're here in Oban today, right on the edge of the Scottish Highlands. I've only been here a couple of times. I've never fished it. I've got the lure rods with us. It's a nice little place, this. So we're going to see what we can catch and see what's cracker lacking. Here, a seal. They're so cool, aren't they? But I think it means I need to get fishing. The question is are these nice seals or angry seals? And they're gonna try and, if I catch a fish, are they gonna rob it off my hook? Let's find out. Bloody hell. That got a hit on the way down. That got a hit on the way down. What a beautiful spot to be fishing, though. Looking out of the Scottish Highlands. I'm a lucky boy. I'm a lucky, 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 lucky boy. The confidence is if the seals are coming in, then there's a good chance that means the pollock are coming in too. Because they they'll be feeding on something. Just what is the question? And do they fancy a cheeky white sand eel? Those seals definitely weren't eating fish though. They definitely weren't. They were feeding on probably crabs or some form of mollusk. So it looks like there's a little bit of a channel up there that I think is going to be very... Uh, very fishable. So let's get over there when we can. Gotta be so careful on these rocks when it's wet. No messing about, just take your time. Don't do anything stupid. This looks pollocky. It's a bit of kelp, it's a nice little ledge. I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful of a small one. Or a big one. Or a big one. Jeez, that is a big one. That was a big pull. I came out of nowhere. Got to keep out of that kelp. The fish is fighting so hard. That's huge. That is bloody huge. I took it so aggressively. Oh my God, that's Defo a PB. Defo a PB and he swam into the net for me. That slammed that out of the kelp. Oh guys, tremendous first fish. Look at that fish. Beautiful, look at the eye. Oh. First fish in open, beautiful. Let's get it back though. Serious, serious girth on that pollock. Off he goes. Beautiful, you can see the ledge. It was inevitable a decent pollock was gonna hit that. There's literally seals everywhere right now. And I've just had a big pollock. There's clearly, I'm on the fish here. This is clearly a mark. Oh, I love it. I do love fishing away. Don't know how much of it you can hear. Oh, that was huge. Again. Oh, ho, ho. I know why the seals are here. Oh. We had a couple of hits and it's gone quiet. And it's interesting as well because the seals have moved on as well. So that to me suggests that the pollock have moved on as well. But we'll give a little, we'll just keep going for a little bit longer, I think. Uh, that seal's still there, to be fair. He's just watching me. I feel like I, I peed him off. It's like, you are in my spot. This is my usual ritual, my Sunday night. And you're there, pooing on my parade. Yeah, I think. I think we move on from this mark. Plenty here, but I think we had two hits. We did well. Fish are going to be there. I know they're going to be there, but you can't. You just can't get your lure through it. We'll give this a little go. This little channel. Something decent could just come forth, flying through here. There's no reason why not. Have to admit, this is one of the most beautiful fishing spots I've been. Fishing into a view like that. Come on. Whoa! 
We are right in a wind tunnel here. We're back where we were. There's a lovely edge here that's got to be fished. It has to be fished. So I'm putting you guys through the misery of this wind and I am so, so sorry, but I hopefully will be rewarding you with a really nice pollock. I'm just going to walk along this large ledge and try and fish it along, but it is quite difficult. It's slippy and windy. It's literally the worst combination. If I get a big pollock, it's going to absolutely pull me to bilio, which is my other concern I've got. Nice, steady, slow retrieve. But we're going to have a few more casts, I think. Probably go get something to eat. Fish. Fish, all right. Whoa! Folks, apologies for having an absolute mare with the camera. This weather's turned and we've hooked a slab of a pollock. And he's in the net. He is in the net. It's a huge pollock. It's a monster pollock. Guys, what a bar of gold that is. Oh my days. Definitely a PB. Smash that sand deal. I'm so sorry about the GoPro. It was such a fight. I thought it was on. And that is a beautiful Scottish pollock. This is what we are flipping talking about. Look at that fish! Oh, behave. This is what it's about. Right, let's get this guy back. Beautiful! It's gone somewhere. <laughs> Not a bad place to catch a pollock. And I've got very wet feet. I am so sorry about that. Honestly, I was literally just about to go and have some tea. Just a debacle. And we've ended up now in a PB pollock. That's fishing for you. Oh, that was a nice fish, whatever that was. We got another hit. Brilliant fishing. In a storm. What more could you want? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Whee! That's a nice fish. Oh, oh yeah, baby. <laughs> what a slam! That's another biggie! Get out of the rocks. Oh my god, I gotta get him in the net. He is out. Just about. Bloody Dora. Oh, another biggie. Another slab! Smashing fish. Right, let's get him back. Smashing fish, let's get him back. Boom! What a hit! We are having some class fishing. Some class fishing. And they're not small pollock either. They're proper pollock. And the great thing is, seeing them go back and just watching them swim off. Oh, have you caught anything, Mr. Seal? You don't look too happy. And I've just paid £6.40 for that. And we've already encountered our first problem. No way. And I reckon Scottish seagulls are absolutely hard as nails. I've had a little bit of a nibble, I'm feeling a lot more refreshed and I'm here now on low tide. And look at this coastline behind me, you can see why there's plenty of pollock. Look at the kelp, look at the big rocks behind me, all that feature, all those drop offs. Oh, ho, ho. I'm loving this, I tell you that for free. But right, come on, let's get back fishing, see if we can nail another before the day's out. It's nine o'clock already, it's bloody, look at it, oh! Take in the sea air! Beautiful. This is what it's all about. I've flipping come to Scotland and I've come and nailed an absolute world day. And now I'm back here at 10 o'clock to try and nail another. That island is pretty mega, isn't it? On a low tide. This might fish so differently now and I think it will. Fish. Ooh. Oh, he's not that big, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> and got my clutch sorted as well, that was lucky. If that was been a little bit bigger, we would have had a problem. That's a 
beautiful as well. Land. Beautiful. So yeah, I nearly came out as well. Nice. Only a little bad bit, but a follow. On low tide. Interesting. Pollock at 10 o'clock at night, that's what we're talking about, isn't it? Oi, oi. Ooh, hey. I thought something was following that eyes off. Before there was something knocking, I can feel it. It's that bird, he's always a good size. Don't know what he is. Black and white with a red beak. Anyone help me? Not just gracias. Folks, you can tell it's late. It's about half 11, 12 o'clock. This is nuts. <laughs> anyway, we're going to hit the sack for a few hours and we're going to come back out here later and see if we can nail some early morning. Oh, it's been a smashing day so far. I hope you've enjoyed. And turn the TV on in this tiny little guest house. And the first thing that's on, Tagger does the Namada. <laughs> and here we go. No seals, which I think is a bad sign. Plenty of bird life, plenty of activity. It's nowhere near as um, windy today either, so you might be able to hear me, which is also good. Thought we catch a few fish today, eh? Well, this morning. Fish. Yes. <laughs> How long it be? I've been here a couple of minutes. It's not a biggie, but it's not a bad fish though. A couple of pound pollock. Whoa, maybe a bit bigger actually. Put up a decent scrap as well. First fish. Not been here long either. That's a nice pollock for it in anyone's book on the lures. He's in the net. Beautiful. Smashing first fish. Folks, come down this morning and we've nailed this absolute beauty. I haven't even got the camera set up. <laughs> Stunning first fish. Right, let's get him back though. It's a big old, big old pollock that. He's off though. <laughs> oh, first fish already. Oh, I'll tell you what, the fishing this morning been pretty poor. It hasn't been great at all. So I think what we're gonna do is go and have a coffee. Like even the seals have disappeared. There was loads of seals and then they just completely vanished. And now there's just the odd one. Just one all the way up there. Okay. <laughs> Said the fishy went a bit quiet. <laughs> it's not a biggie, but <laughs> it's always sod's law, isn't it, when you say that? It's always when you say that. The fishing's got quiet that you nail one. Beautiful. It's not a biggie. But he loves a sand deal. He loves a sand deal. Go on, son. the fishing over these last couple of days has been absolutely superb two pbs did not expect that smashing stuff well i'm truly hooked on pollock fishing pardon the pun and i hope you're enjoying these videos and if you are make sure you hit that subscribe button anyway folks tight lines keep fishing <laughs>